Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. How many of you guys know 1 Kings 18? I'll be honest, I, did, I wouldn't have known what 1 Kings 18 meant just right off the top of my head. Now, if you said Elijah and the priests of Baal, or if you said calling down fire from heaven, I would have known what you were talking about immediately. One of the most popular stories in the whole Old Testament. Bam! Right here. Guys, I'm actually not going to read a single verse. I want you to read 1 Kings 18 for yourself. I want you to check it out if you haven't. For those of you who have, you know how amazing and awesome and wonderful and powerful our God is. And I hope you'll join me in prayer asking for stuff like that to happen these days. Once again, I'm one of those crazy charismatics. I believe that gifts and signs and wonders are for today, and I hope you will join me in seeking out these things and desiring these things for our lives, for our nation's lives, for the nations across seas. There's no one who doesn't need this. Just imagine the power of like, well, you know, you wonder which God's the right one. How about this? Whichever God can raise that dead man, whichever man, whichever God can heal that man of leprosy, whichever God heals those blind eyes, whichever God, <laughs> whichever God, uh, how should I, I was like, I was like, there, we, we don't really do idols here in the United States. There are nations who do idols, though. And, or, and, but not, but there are, I was saying we don't do sacrifices nowadays either, so it's like there's, I was trying to, I was like, modern analogy-wise, uh, there's not much to destroy <laughs> on either side, but a miraculous confrontation, Elijah wins, Yahweh, the God of Israel, wins. Absolutely mind-blowing. It's something we should seek, it's something we should desire, it's something that I do seek and I desire. I've seen a little bit here and there, and I'm just going to keep on seeking, I'm going to keep on searching until I find it. I've heard good stories. I'm sure you guys have heard them too. Some of you guys probably don't believe in all this stuff. And some of you are Christians that will watch this video. You're Christians and you're really not quite sure if you believe in all the miraculous stuff. One, it is in the Bible. It is in the Word of God. Two, if you don't believe in it for today, I would ask you to strongly reconsider your theological stance. And three, for those of you who want to believe. Ask him. Ask him and continue to seek after him. You'll find what you're looking for. That's one of his promises. Ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. So read this chapter for yourself. Once again, it is 1 Kings chapter 18, the story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal, Elijah calling down fire from heaven. And there's a lot of other good stuff in the chapter as well. It's not just that story. There's a lot of other really potent stuff. There were more things I could have said. But I want to focus on the most popular topic because I thought it was really relevant for right now. We need the power of God today. We need to seek God today. We need to see God today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you. God bless.